Well, hello there, Pastor Melanie. Hello there, Pastor Hi. Bill. How you doing? I'm doing great because the sun came out for a little bit. The sun is out. Hey, I, I want to challenge oh, you uh, to a little uh, game of uh, basketball here. Okay. Okay, we're going to challenge you. We're going to do layups. The, the uh, principal foundational aspect of uh, playing basketball is you need to be able to make, oh, see, just like that. Here, let me show you again. You need to be able to make a layup. A layup. Okay, so. Yeah, and I'm, a, I'm, I'm sporty. So. You're sporty. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have a little contest. But before we do that, I want to remind you about our search class tomorrow night, Wednesday night. Uh, because much like uh, playing basketball, uh, the Corinthians were missing the layups. They were missing the layups. They, they were uh, missing the, the foundational, foundational aspect of Christian, of Christian living. And, uh, you know, just like, you know, you're supposed to be able to be trained, you know, uh, in basketball and in uh, Christian living and godliness, you should be able to make that layup every time. Why don't you try it? All right. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, give me that. No, you're, you're not quite getting it. The Corinthians were also not getting it. And what they we see in 1 Corinthians chapter 5 uh, is Paul is dealing with a very sinful situation in the church. Mm -hmm. But his main concern, Pastor Melanie, uh, wasn't the, the sin itself. I mean, he was concerned about the sinner and the situation, but it was the fact that the Corinthians couldn't make a layup. Just like that. <laughs> they could not follow through with the principles, basic principles of what you've been teaching uh, on the, the, the kingdom character. They could not even live the Beatitudes and were refusing to live that in regards to uh, sin and relationships. So they should have been making those layups. They but should have been. <laughs> Are you okay? But they weren't. They, they, they weren't. So uh, it's going to be a fun teaching, even though that's a hard chapter, but uh, very important teaching for the church tomorrow night, Wednesday night. We're looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 5, uh, verse 2. We invite you for that. Now, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock p.m. What else is coming up uh, we this We just want to make sure that you guys know that this Sunday we're back to our regular schedule. That's right, our regular schedule. That means we're going to have a 9 a.m. service, That's an right. 11 a.m. service where you can attend in person. And we're going to be having our live broadcast service at 3 o'clock. That's a closed service where we just do our live service and send it out to everybody who's watching from home. So and that's uh, 4th of July weekend, right? 4th of July weekend, So it's going to be a very special time, very special services, 9, 11, and then, of course, broadcast at 3. Absolutely. Great. Anything else, Pastor Melanie? I, you know, I got, I got yeah, that. That layup, that's pretty easy to do. Try it one more time. Yep, I figured so. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to call uh, Pastor Melanie a Corinthian because that wouldn't be good in the context. But come tomorrow night and uh, see the wonderful teaching. God bless.